friends welcome back to my channel learn and fun with asta so friends so in today's video uh, this is the second part of uh, whole numbers and natural numbers video in which you are going to study the properties of whole numbers okay and in properties of whole numbers we have completed uh, for addition now we're starting for subtraction so the first property is closure property so what is the closure property so in addition we studied that कि कोई भी दो होल नंबर है उनका जो सम होगा वो होल नंबर ही होगा फॉर एग्जांपल वन प्लस टू वन एंड टू आर होल नंबर्स सो उनका जो सम है वो है थ्री एंड थ्री इज टू आर होल नंबर सो अब क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी कैसे अप्लाई होता है सब्ट्रैक्शन पे वी विल सी दैट ओके सो द डिफरेंस ऑफ टू होल नंबर विल ऑलवेज बी अ होल नंबर फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए इज ऑल्सो होल नंबर एंड बी इज ऑल्सो होल नंबर सो दियर डिफरेंस विल बी ऑल्सो होल नंबर okay means c is also a whole number now we are having 2 2 is also whole number right 2 is a whole number and we are having 1 1 is also whole number so if we uh, get the difference of these two numbers so we'll get 1 as the difference okay now we'll see 3 minus 1 okay so 3 minus 1 is 2 now what if i say we have to minus 3 minus 6 is equal to what so these are whole numbers and we are not having any problem to take the um, difference out of these okay so if we uh, subtract 3 uh, if we subtract 6 from 3 it is not possible it's not possible but we will get the answer as minus 3 right we'll get the answer is minus 3 we'll study it further in integers chapter but now let's see uh, consider it minus 3 answer okay so now the question is that is uh, the uh, the this property the does this property hold for subtraction no it doesn't hold for sub, uh, hold for subtra uh, for subtraction okay because these are whole numbers and according to the property we can minus we can uh, take the difference out of these whole numbers but we are having minus 3 as the answer and minus 3 is not considered any whole number because it is less than 0 okay so this property does not hold for subtraction closure property does not hold for subtraction so now let's move to the next property so our next property is commutative property okay so the commutative property was an addition also and in addition we studied for example a plus b is equal to b plus a this hold for uh, means the um, commutative ho uh, property holds for addition but let's see if it holds for subtraction also okay sorry it was b uh, b b plus a okay now let me uh, tell you this property also it's just same but the symbols are exchanged a minus b is equal to b minus a now let's take a number which is like 7 or let's take 6 minus 5 or 5 minus 6 So we have given the uh, roll A to six and roll B to five, and in the other uh, in the other uh, side we have given um, we have exchanged their places. Okay, but six minus five is one. But what if we minus uh, subtract five uh, from uh, six from five? Answer will be minus five, and this is not equal. So commutative property also does not hold for subtraction it holds for addition but not for subtraction okay let me give me a one another example okay jaise ki main leti hu 11 minus 9 or let's take 11 minus 6 okay and is equal to 6 minus 11 so if we minus this we'll get here 5 it's simple 5 is a whole number and here also one was a whole number but minus one wasn't now here we'll get minus 5 and minus 5 is not a whole number so this property will not hold for 
subtraction okay so let's move to the another property so the next property is associative property okay so now, now let's see what's the associative property uh, in addition we studied that associative property is like if we uh, having like a plus b in bracket plus c is equal to a plus b plus c okay like this but uh, now we are having subtraction which is in front of you so now let's see a minus b is in the bracket and we are having c out of the bracket and in the another side we are having a out of the bracket and b and c in the bracket now 11 minus c first of all we will solve the bracket 11 minus c is what it's 5 5 minus 5 5 minus 5 is what let me we'll solve afterwards like we are having here 6 minus 1 right 6 minus 1 so uh, 6 minus 1 is 1 and 11 minus 1 so 5 minus 5 is 0 but here 10 okay so we are having different different things so we can't say that this property holds for as a uh, uh, subtraction associative property does not hold for subtraction okay associative property does not hold for subtraction now i hope you understood this let me uh, explain once again here 11 minus 6 first we'll solve the bracket 11 minus 6 is 5 then we are having here 6 minus 5 first so we'll minus this we'll get 1 and 11 minus 1 is 10 and 5 minus 5 is 0 so now the answers are different so this is not this does not hold for subtraction so our next property is property of zero so in property of zero there is nothing but if we subtract zero from any whole number the result remains the number itself it is as same as uh, this one identity element which is like if we add if we add zero so it will be zero uh, 11 only but here we are subtracting so if we subtract any whole number from uh, if we subtract zero from any whole number the answer will be the number itself so we've completed the uh, subtraction one uh, property properties so i hope you understood for subtraction so friends i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.